Hi, my name is Edel Buckley and we're farming here in Lisrobin in Borby, North Cork. We joined the scheme in 2019 and since then we've implemented a number of measures to maintain the high status of the um, Owen Keel River that runs around our farm. The Dewhello Farming for Blue Dot Catchments project is a European innovation partnership initiative that works with farmers in a North Cork subcatchment of the Munster Blackwater to protect and restore rivers to high status. Farmers are rewarded for maintaining high quality habitats, buffers and other measures that protect water quality. Funding is also provided to farmers to install capital actions through an additional proposed work system. Farmer knowledge transfer is another important part of the project where farmers can visit other farms to see measures installed in the project or attend workshops and talks about relevant topics such as nature-based riverbank stabilisation and farm road upgrades. Through the project's additional proposed work system, Adil installed several measures to divert potentially soiled water off the farm road and away from watercourses. Before this, water and sediment could accumulate at the bottom of the roadway over a bridge on the Owen Keel River, a tributary of the River Delu. Due to the steep topography of the area and the heavy soils in the catchment, large quantities of water can flow down the road or down through fields during heavy rain. The first job done under the project was the widening of a previously narrow crossing point. The existing pipe under the crossing point was extended with a curry pipe and this was then filled in with graded stone and covered with topsoil. This means that water that flows down through the field and across the road cannot enter the farm drain as easily. Work then began on getting water off the road and away from watercourses. Having noticed similar water bars used to protect farm roads from erosion during rainfall, Adele came up with the idea to install these on her farm road to divert soil water off the road and to protect the road too. The first water bar was installed at the top of the road. This is a critical step as diverting water off the road as soon as possible prevents it from building up power as it flows downhill and digging gullies into the road. So we installed a water bar here um, to divert the water that comes from the public road down away from the bridge which is running over the stream. Um, and we installed a concrete water bar here and then installed a two chamber sediment pond. The water flows from the uh, roadway into the pond and deposits the silt and then goes into a second chamber and then eventually then makes its way out through a pipe into the wood beside it. Because the pond is taking water from a farm road, it is essential that the overflow is not into a watercourse. The sediment that accumulates in the first chamber was tested by the project team and results showed that it is very high in phosphorus. It is removed on an annual basis and added to the farmyard manure before being spread back onto the land as an organic fertilizer. If properly maintained like this, there should be no need to have to clean the second chamber out and this can then become a refuge for biodiversity, including aquatic plants and insects. Under the project's results-based payment system, Adele receives a payment every year for a riparian woodland that acts as a buffer. This is particularly important on farms where the risk of phosphorus runoff is high due to steep topography and heavy soils. The Owen Keel River flows through both the north and south of Adele's farm. The Duhallow Farming for Blue Dot Catchments project has several participating farmers with land on this tributary of the Dalu. This stretch of the Owen Keel has returned from good to high status between the Water Framework Directive 2013 to 2018 monitoring period and the 2016 to 2021 monitoring period. Scientists determine the status of rivers by looking at the plants and animals, principally macroinvertebrates or water bugs, to determine biological water quality.
Here, the project team are conducting a kick sample with Adele's family to see what insects are present in the river. The presence of pollution-sensitive species, like certain stoneflies and mayflies, are a good sign that indicate that the river is healthy. Returning rivers in the upper reaches of catchments to high status is particularly important as these can then act as a refuge for highly pollution sensitive species that can then repopulate downstream stretches as they improve. No, that's a stonefly, that's actually a good one, very well spotted. That's a tiny, tiny stonefly. You've got good eyesight. <laughs> he's really small. They'll catch him. See the way he squiggles? That's because he's used to squiggling between the stone.